checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's the Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We're going to talk about Pulse Chain. My very first update on Pulse Chain. So, Pulse Chain um, is live. The bridge is live now, of course. Many of you watching this probably already know that. The correct chart that you want to be looking at and with the biggest liquidity pool is this one right here. So it's a PLS, oh, oh sorry, the W wrapped PLS with the PLSX uh, uh, token liquidity pairing. 45 million in liquidity. This is the PLS chart. You can see the price is being updated also on Pulse X info. Okay, so if you click the three buttons up here when you come to Pulse X, you will get this drop down. Go to info, it will take you here. Uh, let's just refresh that. It may not provide a true reflection of the value of Ethereum, for example, things like that. But you can see Pulse Chain and Pulse X, an incentive token, and then you get the bridged. Uh, the, sorry, these are the native stablecoin assets, which don't which don't reflect the dollar value. We'll talk about that in a minute. But um, yeah, incentive token, ten dollars and forty six cents. That's actually up two hundred percent from this morning here in the UK. That was about three dollars and fifty cents when I last saw it earlier, and then Pulse Chain is four zeros and a nine eight, almost taken out a zero, uh, and Pulse X is four zeros and a two four. So we are under sacrifice price, which a lot of people won't be happy about. And we sacrificed. We waited two years, and it's now below the price that we paid for sacrifice. So see it as an opportunity. You know. It is what it is. See it as an opportunity, okay? A lot of the reason for that is when uh, uh, this went live, okay? When this went live, um, there's a lot of people that missed the Pulse Chain sacrifice. So a lot more was sacrificed in Pulse X, which came afterwards, than what than what was sac <clears throat> A lot more was sacrificed in Pulse X, which came afterwards, than what was sacrificed in Pulse Chain. So when Pulse Chain went live, a lot of people would have wanted to sell some Pulse X into Pulse, PLS, Pulse Chain, so that they could get a decent position on that before the bridge opened. So there was a strategy there that a lot of people executed, which saw the price of Pulse X come way down in value, okay, against Pulse Chain, basically, right? So I just want to let you know which was the correct chart. This is the correct chart, and you can invert it and see the price of uh, PLSX, this is PLS. If you click the three buttons up here on debt, debt screener and click invert pair, you'll be able to see the price of PLSX. Okay, similar looking charts. Um, sitting at about 3.2 billion in market cap at the time of recording this video. So that's where we keep an eye on it. Um, right, so let's just talk quickly about. Well, first of all, before we talk about stable coins, look, you can see wrapped Ethereum here. Okay, so the bridged assets are going to be. The ones that you wanna that, that you wanna use. So this is wrapped of ether, wrapped ether from Ethereum. And when you add these tokens, because there are, if we go to my Telegram group, right, there are, um, and there's actually a meme coin that I recently bought. <laughs> I don't know how it's doing. We'll check out the chart while we're on this video as well. Um, but yeah, so these are the correct contract addresses for the ethereum bridged assets stable coins for example hex usdt usdc dai and wrapped ethereum so uh, let's just explain so in fact richard hart um there's a tweet okay so a lot of people have asked about uh, yeah no a lot of people have asked about stable coins. I'm, I'm jumping here because i was just about to talk about the price of ethereum Okay, so the price of Ethereum, $1,180. That is not a true reflection of the price of Ethereum. It's $1,800. Okay, so in a nutshell, remember, that price is not accurate. Okay, jumping on to the stable coins. Okay, the most important part that people want to know right now. So Richard says, make sure you know the difference between the stables on Pulse Chain, which are copies, yeah, paraphrasing, they're copies that are backed by nothing. And the stables that just became available that were just bridged in that are backed by dollars. They may have the same ticker, but they're definitely not the same thing. So I've gone ahead and removed all of the copied USDT, USDC, DAI, DAI assets from my Pulse X account. And I've added the new, uh, sorry, the bridged um, contract addresses to my Pulse X account. So... I know which ones, so I know, so I can use them, right? 
Um, so, you know, a lot of people were trading, um, trading from PLS X into um, PLS into USDC, USDT, and trading. I know somebody messaged me saying that you know what they've gained a lot more pulse chain by doing that. But I was like, don't get caught out by the bridge because these assets will probably be less used. People will probably pull out whatever liquidity they've added into those assets once the bridge opens and you don't want to get wrecked. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Bear that in mind. Okay, but Richard explains it here. Okay, there was always a plan. Uh, there was always that understanding from Richard as well. In fact, I shared these videos with my group members um, just uh, uh, so Richard Hart discussing PRC 20s and stablecoin values on Pulse Chain Vintage. He already explained this a while ago. They're not going to be the same. They're not going to have the same one dollar value, for example. Richard Hart discusses stablecoins on Pulse Chain, so he has discussed it on numerous occasions. So it's up to you to do your own research and not get wrecked. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to highlight that and and just make sure everybody has that understanding. Okay. Another thing is liquidity. So. Pulse chain is going to be highly volatile, uh, volatile right now. Like I said, the price of PLS right now is way below sacrifice phase. Okay, and you know it's liquidity issues, liquidity. Okay, the volatility can work in your favor both ways. So buying it low, selling it high. Right now it's underneath sacrifice, uh, sacrifice price. So buying it now could be a good price. I've already shown you the chart. Okay, you can see that's clearly. I mean, what is that? That's a dip, right? Anyone can identify a dip in this market. Anyone that's watching this video should be able to identify what a dip is. And that is clearly a dip. And people are buying it, right? So there's opportunity there. Um, so another man's loss is another man's gain. And it's only a loss if you sell it as well. So, you know, I'm personally not bridging anything over, okay? If you want to know how to use the bridge um, or how to get to the bridge at least, I haven't used it yet. But you're going to come over to postchain.com and just click bridge. At least then you know you're going to the correct place. And it will take you to the bridge. Okay. Um, there probably will be more validators over time. So, of course, you know, take caution. Um, you may get transactions. <coughs> Bless me. There may be transactions that get stuck. Okay. Um, or, or take a long time to go through. Because the... The ecosystem is so early, okay? It's so early. So have some grace on the ecosystem. Give it time to mature so then we can start to see the true um, and performance value of this blockchain. So, yeah, to use the bridge, um, you can bridge assets in. I already got into the sacrifice phases, so me, I'm going to want to know how to bridge assets out. And I know that, you know, you're probably going to need to wrap Pulse Chain to bridge it out of Pulse Chain. Um, if you're bridging Pulse Chain, for example, other assets and so on, like Ethereum, you need to wrap Ethereum to bridge it in or whatever, okay? Um, but I'm sure there'll be lots more information on that um, coming forward. But um, Richard Hart said this, um, I'm blocking so many people, you don't have well-functioning real money markets for PLSX, PLS or anything on Pulse Chain yet. Yet is the key word, okay? They take time to gather liquidity. Everything will be highly volatile for a while. People can't even find ways to shove their money into the system yet. So again, volatility, you know, um, give it time for the ecosystem to mature. Okay, guys. And lastly, um, yeah. Um, oh, right. Firstly, the incentive token, right? So you can actually earn yield on the incentive token. My strategy is earn yield on it, or what I've actually been doing, earn yield on the incentive token and then um, sell that into more PLS, PLSX or HEX or whatever it is that you want to accumulate. Okay, there's other tokens that you can actually buy as well. Now I'm going to show you a meme coin that just launched and I actually bought some. Okay, I'm not recommending you buy it. It's super early. It's going to be volatile. It's going to be low in market cap. But you know, I'm a degen and I buy meme coins and I like to catch early pumps. Okay, so let's have a look at Kishka. Let's just make sure we're getting the right chart because there's two of them here. So I did share the chart earlier just before we round up the video. Kishka is one that I don't know. You just never know. It's, it, this could go into the millions, hundreds of millions of market cap, billions for all we know. So I bought some, okay? Uh, and, and you know, I know how valuable Pulse X is right now. I mean, a lot of people are getting stock transactions. Me personally, I haven't had not one transaction get stuck. Fortunately, people have messaged me saying they've got stock transactions. I've been minting ZNFTs. 
I've been tra I've been providing LP. I've been I've been doing all sorts. I've never had one failed transaction. So I've had a pretty good experience so far. I know other people may have had some bad experiences in this. Like they've got transactions which are stuck. I don't know. Um, one thing I would recommend is just make sure that you're on the correct RPC, and um, yeah, you can get that from the the postchain.com website. Okay, right here. Okay, um, I just added it to my MetaMask at the time, and you know that that was it. It was done. Okay, um, so I didn't need to type anything in. I didn't need to copy and paste, and so on. I just press add. It added to my MetaMask, and it was all sorted. Correct RPC. Well done. So Kishka, um, yeah, it's pumping. It's going up. So I'm I should be in a good profit right now. Now I got into this at ten million. Sorry, ten thousand market cap. That's how degen I am. Ten thousand. It's up to thirty thousand now, and I only got into this a couple of hours. In fact, when I shared it in the Telegram, was twelve forty six. It is now two thirty. So I got into this a couple of hours ago, and I'm in what a two hundred percent, a two x, three x. So that's decent. Liquidity is only six k, of course. So that you know. Bear that in mind. This is, is this is a degen play, but I'm looking at you no. Know, is this? I mean, I'm sure this is the first uh, meme coin on Polchain, I believe. Let's get open another. Um, let's just uh, have a look now. If you go to Debt Screener, you go to Polchain, you're gonna see all of the tokens. Now, I don't know if there's any other meme coin. Okay, no, it's not the first. Pepe is on Polchain. Um, you have Pulse Bitcoin, and you've got Kishka down there. Um, Texan looks like it could be a meme coin. PLS Doge. Okay, this is not the first meme coin. Okay, but um, it's one of the first. Okay, and I'm I'm making gains. I like to take risk. At the end of the day, I bought in with some PLS. So right now, I'm gonna have a lot more PLS than what I bought in with, and I could sell that and take a profit. I mean, guys, I didn't put, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, right. I put something very small okay i put about a hundred and uh a hundred and thirty five dollars or something like that okay let's just be real but um you know if this goes into the millions of market cap i want to make a lot of money if this goes into the hundreds of millions i'm going to make a lot of money so i bought it i'll just hold it and we'll see whether kishka becomes something i don't even know if there's a website for this project let's go to the t uh, the telegram Okay, just for the sake of the video, right? This is the Telegram. There's only 130, uh, 133 members. Let's see if there's actually a website for this. Because, you know, and that, that's how much of a degen I am, right? Got into it uh, without a website. Okay, so there is a website. Okay, let's have a look at the website. I hope it looks good. Um, yeah, the website looks all right at first impression. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, I'm not. It's not a shield. Like I, I don't. It's it's a very early ecosystem. It's based on Richard Hart's cat. So this is based on. <laughs> this is actually. It's got. It's got something to it. It's based on Richard Hart's cat. Richard Hart tweeted this uh, in March fifth. By the way, that was this year, March fifth. Okay, so it wasn't yesterday. Uh, okay, it was March fifth. Meet Kishka. It's Ukrainian for a girl cat. My mom tells me. That he was abandoned and so on. And that, that's Richard Hart. So this is named after Richard Hart's cat. So 4% tax, uh, buy tax, sell tax is 4%. I didn't even know that when I bought it. I just bought it. Stealth launch and so on. All right, guys. It's not a shill for that token. But it's going up in price. So that's a good thing. It's, it's nice for me to see it on, on video. Okay. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. It's a very brief overview of Pulse Chain, what I'm doing. You can now transact and interact with the ecosystem not only if you got into the sacrifice, you can now bridge funds over and start using it. You can buy things like Kishka and take advantage of early opportunities. And this, this could well be a rug pull for all I know. Like I said, so it's not financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy this or anything like that. Just showing you what I'm doing. And I've had no issues um, with any transactions whatsoever. So I thought I'd just make this video and put that out there. I know there's a lot of fun and a lot of, you know, whispers about Pulse Chain, especially on Twitter. But um, yeah. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one.